know, we've been long overdue. Um, the elusive win and um, it's come today um, in the form of, of Rochdale. So, now really pleased. Um, how nice is it to, to get that first win with a, a pretty dominant victory as well? Yeah, obviously very nice. You know, we've worked really hard um, in terms of how we want to play, how we want to press, and it was really evident today that we'd done a lot of work on the training ground. I thought that the lads were outstanding. Um, what particularly pleased you? Um, how we pressed, uh, obviously you saw the first goal, I know it was kind of a mistake, but he doesn't make that mistake if he's not pressed, and Wakelin just never stops running, he just tirelessly presses, and I was really pleased with that, and I also was really pleased with how calm we was, um, playing out from the back, I thought we, we picked some great moments, um, and some great football. And that sort of seemed, you could almost kind of sense that, that confidence after the, after the second went in, the, the way the players started to, to play with a bit of a strong almost. 100% and I think that you know when you're a possession based team you kind of play with a bit more swagger when you're you know when you're winning games and when your goals up um, and we certainly did that in the second half definitely uh, but no like I say I was really pleased um, we created a lot of chances as well um, I'm not sure what the BBC stats are saying but our stats are saying 12 shots on target um, I think yours might not be saying that but I'm really pleased um, ten, which is not bad. It's not bad either you're way. Whichever only, way you're you only want two to away. You're getting right. better. We hope. We hope. Um, Jacob Wakeling, he's got, got another goal. Had a hand in the other two goals. Um, you sort of talked about his running there, but what, what are the sort of qualities that that have helped him have a, a really good start to his swimming career? Well, just his work ethic. He'll score goals just based on how hard he works. You know, he, you saw it yourself. He just never stops. He's like Duracell um, bunny. Just. Going all over the pitch, he'll just you know if a packet of crisps blows across it, uh, blows across the pitch, he'll chase it. You know he, he's one of them. He just never stops running, and he will score a lot of goals based on his just his work ethic alone. Um, he's got a good finish on him. You know he, he did brilliant for for Johnny Williams' goal as well. Um, you know he could have been selfish and but he let Johnny kind of run onto the box. I think he felt that Johnny was in a better position than him, which he was. Um, so he, he made a good decision at that moment. But I thought I thought he was outstanding. Um. The sort of interesting call on the team sheet is Ronan Darcy at right back. So, so what sort of prompted that, and how did that unfold for you? Um, yeah, no, it's a good point. I uh, it's a gamble for me. He's never played there before, um, so I gambled, and I just wanted. I just felt that we were were lacking. We were lacking in terms of how I wanted us to play, and I, I wanted certain actions where my midfield players rolled out and fullbacks rolled in, and I wanted to. I wanted to. Dominate and control from them deep areas, and I know how good Darcy is on the ball. Um, he'll never go, um, he'll never go hiding or missing. Not that anybody has done that, but he, you know, he'll always try and find angles and he'll get on the ball. And I thought he was, for me, he was, he was outstanding today. How many sort of training sessions has he had at right back? Did he, did he sort of go through it yesterday? Yeah, we, no, we did it. We started it on Thursday, so we did some bits on it on Thursday, and then obviously he did some bits yesterday. So, uh, but he, like I say, he's never played there. It was a gamble for me, but I think it paid off. Um, do you think you're a gambling manager normally, or was this just one of those, those sort of hunches? Um, just a hunch, really. I don't think I gamble that very often. You know, I don't. I ain't going to play sort of like my goalkeeper at left wing, if that's what you're asking. No, but I think that. With that, I think any kind of good midfield player who can handle the football can play in the full-back areas, and I thought he did it brilliantly. Steve Milton Hall might tell you about his time up front if we keep discussing goalkeepers. No, I've already heard so. that one. I thought I thought you might. Do. Um, overall, <coughs> did you did you expect it to be quite as open as, as perhaps it was? Yeah, um, I did because they're they're not a bad side. I know that like I mentioned this in my press on Thursday. I, I feel that. You know they've not picked any points up, and but I do feel that they're quite expansive. They do have good movement, and they do they can hurt you. You know, and kind of marshalled it quite well at times, and, and at times they got in. You know, they're a good side, and they will score goals, and they will take points off teams definitely. And you talked a little bit about sort of that anxiety for the first win. But the players have come into the dressing room. Have you already seen a slightly different group? Well, I think like I've mentioned before that we've we've improved on on each game we've played in. In my opinion, uh, um, you know, I think that we've uh, every game we've played we've improved, and and I think that I just want the players to play with that little bit of swagger and confidence. And I do believe that when you haven't picked up a win, you kind of do get anxious, and it's normal. And and I understand it. Um, and I just want the players to express themselves and play with, with the plan. You know, stick to the plan. We're going to play out from the back um, and, and stick to it. Don't, you know, don't get scared and think that right. We're going to do something different. No, no, that's not not what we do. We're going to try and play and dominate the ball. And I thought we did it brilliantly today.
make sure you enjoy it. Thank you. Thank you.